on the stage, family, friends, some of the guest entertainers. We have my family, myself, fans, friends, nieces, nephews, sisters, brothers. I would like to thank everyone for coming out. As you know, um, I'm lost for words. I was his voice and his backbone. I had his back, so did the family. But we thank you. That's all I can say. We thank you very much. I heard. I, st I stand here tr trying to find words of comfort, solace, trying to understand why the Lord has taken our brother to return home from such a short visit here on earth. Michael, when you left us, a part of me went with you, and a part of you will live forever within me, but also a part of you will live forever within all of us. Michael, I would treasure the, the good times, the fun we had, singing, dancing, laughing. I can remember when we used to come home from school and we would grab a quick bite to eat and we try to watch the Three Stooges as much of it as possible before Mother would come in and say it's time to go to the, restore, to the recording studio. I also, Michael, remember a time when I went into the record store and there was this man purchasing a lot of CDs and he would go and grab another batch of CDs. He was an older gentleman. He had short afro but crooked teeth, and his clothes were rumpled. I walked up behind him and said, Michael, what are you doing in this store? <laughs> he turned to me and said, Marlon, how did you know it was me? <laughs> I told him, you're my brother. I can spot you anywhere, regardless of your makeup. <laughs> I know your walk, I know your body language, and those shoes did not help. <laughs> Michael wore the same shoes wherever we went. But I guess that was his way of trying to experience what we take for granted. We would never, never understand what he endured. Not being able to walk across the street without a crowd gathering around him. Being judged ridiculed, how much pain can one take? Maybe now, Michael, they will leave you alone. <laughs> Michael, Michael was the voice of our angelic trumpets, and he will continue to be the voice that angelic voice in heaven nears to our creator and waiting us when our day comes to pass. Michael, I love you. I will miss when we said our goodbyes. I will hug you and I say I love you. And your response was, I love you more. You know, the Lord has a purpose for everything. And sometimes we just can't see it or understand it. But it will be made clear to us when we reach that ultimate, ultimate reward of being in his presence. And Michael, you're there. You're right there. You have finished your work here on earth, and the Lord has called for you to come home with him. So I thank you, Michael. I thank you for all the smiles that you've placed in many people's hearts. And I thank you for everything that you've done for others across this globe in the Lord's name. 
And I have one request, Michael, one request. I would like for you to give our brother, my twin brother, Brandon, a hug of me. I love you, Michael, and I'll miss you. I thank you, Jen, I want to say something. I just wanted to say, speak up, sweetheart, speak up. Ever since I was born, Daddy has been the best father you could ever imagine. <laughs> and I just wanted to say I love him so much. <laughs> we, we want to thank you all for loving my brother and supporting our family. Thank you and good night. With the wrenchingly sad final closing note from Michael Jackson's daughter and uh, some of Michael Jackson's siblings, the service, the celebration has come to an end at the Staples Center here in Los Angeles. As the performers and family leave the stage now after a combination of music and remembrances and some sermons and some politics and some meant for private, some for public consumption. Uh, Lester Holt has been here watching with us as the casket is wheeled out of the arena. Lester, uh, uh, interesting program interesting program and, and watching his daughter in those last few moments if nothing about this got you if you didn't care a thing about Michael Jackson all of us can relate and understand the grief of a little girl who has lost her father uh, clearly the most moving moment you know it was a respectful entertaining but not over the top uh, show 